Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I wanna talk about why Launch School is the software engineering program that I chose to study out out of all the resources online and what makes Launch School different from every other learn to code resource out there. Now, if you're not familiar with Launch School, it's a software engineering school for people trying to become professional engineers and people who wanna start a career as an engineer, really as a lifelong pursuit. It's not for someone who just wants to quickly learn a little bit about how to code or software engineering. So just wanted to get that out of the way. If you haven't watched some of my previous videos on Launch School and what it's all about, go and check out one of those intro videos that talk a little bit more generally about the program. In this video, I wanna talk about what makes this program different from every other Learn to Code resource and what makes it an interesting and innovative way to learn any subject. Now, the biggest thing is Launch School's idea of mastery. Mastery of this subject, not just learning it at a surface level, but learning all the building blocks of the knowledge base to be able to build that fundamental mastery of software engineering. That's something they emphasize from the start. And if you go on to the Launch School site and you look at the page where they talk about their mastery-based approach and the way that they like to structure their learning, there are a few main points that they talk about that I think are really important to emphasize and understand before you get started or think about becoming a student at Launch School. And the way that they talk about it is that Launch School is mastery based and it focuses on deconstruction and problem solving like an engineer. So learning how to break down problems from first principles to be able to really understand how to solve a problem based on the resources at your disposal. Learning how to do this in general is something that Launch School tries to teach you outside of its direct application to software engineering. This is one of the things that really drew me to Launch School is that I understood that it was gonna give me this skill set that I could apply even outside of the applied software engineering portion of the course. It teaches you how to think like an engineer and having worked with many engineers, I was really drawn to that from the start. The other part is Launch School is for finding a career, not just finding a job. They talk about this right on the page where they talk about their approach to learning. This is not appropriate for someone that just wants to get a job quickly or they just wanna get any job in software engineering. Launch School is really aimed at people that wanna get a high-end software engineering job and one that requires a sound understanding of the fundamentals of software engineering that you can then build on with lots of different technologies and frameworks. The other part is, you know, speaking of specific technologies and frameworks, this is something that comes up in the job search for software engineers is that people try to learn the different technologies and frameworks that are gonna be required for a specific job instead of really understanding the fundamentals they need to know to be able to learn any uh, different framework or technology. And this is another thing that they really focus on. They talk about they want to allow you to construct accurate mental representations of first principle ideas in software engineering rather than just knowing how to apply them via these frameworks and technologies you're gonna add on to those skills. The other part is an objective increase in your lifetime earning potential in the millions of dollars. This is another stated objective of the course. This is really what it comes down to when they're talking about get you a career in software engineering, not just a job. In terms of long-term high-end software engineering jobs, you should be thinking about you know, upping your lifetime earning potential into the millions of dollars. Not just you know, a job this year, but a multi-year experience where you're going to be able to get those jobs that increase in salary as you go or get those positions or whatever you plan to do with your software engineering skills. And what they do to allow you to get to this level is they talk about the key to unlocking these higher levels of understanding is a deep focus on fundamentals first. And again, this is so that you can build on top of those fundamentals in a number of different areas. One thing you'll notice if you listen to a Launch School podcast is a lot of the graduates talk about careers they go on to where they're specializing in some subset of software engineering. Distributed systems and performant web systems for highly scalable websites is one that comes to mind. I've heard some of these graduates speak on, but these are all very specific topics that no course can prepare you for. There's no course that can cover the breadth of information that you know, the entire world of software engineering can cover. 
The only way that you can be ready to pick up those technologies is to have a super rock solid foundation of the engineering fundamentals that you can go and apply to all these different technologies you're learning. And that's one of the ways they can be confident that they're preparing graduates to go into these higher level engineering programs. And so one of the things that, you know, this allows people to do is for a lot of the graduates that go through the course and then go through their capstone, which is their 12 week finishing program, for people who've already gone through the core curriculum is it allows them to leave and immediately get that intermediate or even advanced level software engineering job. Or at least what we think of as a higher end software engineering job at a company who really values you know, the core skill of engineering. So generally what is spoken about as a higher end software engineering job just means a software engineering job at a company who's focused on engineering and technology, not just a company that needs to have engineers, you know, as a subset of whatever product or service they're providing, but actually as a core of being able to build that product or service. You really wanna go work at those companies because those are the companies where you're gonna build on that foundational skill and really progress up the career ladder. And even just starting out at one of those companies right now in the last salary report, graduates from the capstone program were averaging $118,000 for their first year salary in the program. And that's not even taking into account fall on years or averaging out the pay of those graduates as they move on to those fall on career options. So you can see based on the types of jobs graduates are getting, and if you're reading between the lines and listening to some of the jobs graduates move on to after they've already been out in the career field for one, two, three, four years, you're gonna quickly start to see that that's really just the entry point for engineers that really know their foundation at a deep level. And you know, again, this is something they emphasize throughout all their material about how they do teaching, is that it's that fundamentals first, allowing you to really understand software engineering from a first principles level. So that appealed to me, the idea that I learned how to think uh, like an engineer really appealed to me, and then other parts of the curriculum, which I'm gonna get into in other videos, you know, getting breaking down more of the actual topics that they get into in the course also appealed to me. And that's the main reason that I chose to study at Launch School, you know, as well as the idea that I could take as long as I need to get through the core curriculum before having to do any higher pressure uh, type of you know extended period of study like the uh, capstone program. But I'm gonna get into that more in a future video about the mastery-based learning approach specifically and their approach to learning more in depth talking about the actual topics that they get into in the curriculum. In this video, I really just wanted to cover what made it different from all the other boot camps and schools that I was looking at. So I hope that was informative for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button and comment below letting me know what else you'd like to see about launch school or otherwise. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so that you're notified anytime that I come out with a video just like this. And as always, thank you guys for watching.